Tonight, Shadow and I are going to do some astrophotography, and we want to go after a target that's really far away. I mean, really far away. For example, this here is the Bode's Galaxy. The Bode's Galaxy is 13 million light years from Earth. And this here is the Whirlpool Galaxy, one of my favorites. And this galaxy is 23 million light years from Earth. But tonight, what we want to go after is 121 million light years away. And for that, we're going to need a really big telescope. To go after the deep space object I have in mind for tonight, uh, I'm going to be mixing things up a bit with the telescopes. So I'm going to start off by taking this telescope here, this 10-inch Dobsonian telescope that's on an altitude azimuth mount. And that setup right there is ideal for imaging, or for viewing, uh, you know, planets and and it also has tremendous magnification power, so it's great for reaching deep into space. The problem is the mount. That mount limits uh, astrophotography to very short exposures, like three seconds, or you get, you know, stars that uh, start to have tails. So what I want to do is I want to put this telescope on this mount, a true equatorial mount. And to do that, I need these rings. So I'm going to take these rings here, I'm going to put those rings on scope, I'm going to put that scope on that mount, and we're going to see if we can go deep into space with longer exposures and capture something 121 million light years away. Brief interjection. See that cake? I made it for my daughter as a surprise. The target we're going to be going after tonight is NGC 2276, a very distant galaxy, 121 million light years from Earth. It's a very interesting galaxy. It's a spiral galaxy, but it has an elongated kind of an oval shape to it because there is another galaxy uh, within proximity and the gravity between the two galaxies is pulling on them both and that's causing the elongated look of NGC 2276. I'm also dealing with a full moon tonight not ideal imaging conditions but I want to see you know if we can do it and the moon is behind the target so that helps so let's get at it see here there we go that's NGC 2276 that's the neighboring galaxy that is pulling on it uh, gravitationally so we've got uh, 15 minutes of 10 second sub exposure stacked I wanted to do longer exposures than that but with the full moon, I was getting a lot of noise, so I've had to settle with lower sub-exposures, but that's okay, it's coming together nicely. So we're gonna let this just keep stacking. There's that great big full moon. Now, the big star here to the right, that's in the Milky Way, so all these stars are in the Milky Way. And so, there's a big gap between these stars and what's behind them which is this galaxy so the stars appear bigger because they're so much closer okay we have 44 minutes of stacked 10 seconds sub exposures and I do have some noise in the lower part of the screen that is actually a reversed image uh, that's the moon light uh, coming in on from the top of the telescope 
So that's the top of the telescope. This image is reversed, but I'll work on eliminating that in post-processing. I'm pretty pleased, actually, with how this is coming along. What do you think, Shadow? Do you have any additional adjustments you'd recommend? That's about as good as I can get it. Do you have one? Okay. That'd be better. I think we're just going to have to go with this. You're not helping any. Oh, what are you doing? You're crazy. You're a crazy mutt. Why do I love you so much? Well, we did the best we could. Uh, the winds picked up and we were really only able to uh, get just shy of an hour's worth of data. Um, I've been working on processing the photograph of NGC 2276 for the last hour or so. Uh, I'm not happy with it, but I'm going to show it to you anyway, because that's what astrophotography is all about. Uh, you know, it's progression, not perfection. And I'm going to go after this target again, and we'll try and do better. But hey, we got it, and it's pretty amazing when you think about it, that we can reach out, an amateur, 121 million light years and capture a galaxy. Even if it's not ideal, it's still pretty amazing. And I'm not boasting about my abilities. I mean, just the fact that we have the technology to do those kind of things. And for now, let's go ahead and take a look at what we captured last night. I'm just gonna...